Hey everybody, welcome back. Glad you could join me. Today, we're going to take a look at Satagrass applicators and what's really worth your money. Now today we're going to compare the performance of the homemade Statagrass applicator versus the Knock Statagrass applicator, which I believe is the original, but there are um, other commercially available Statagrass applicators on the market. Um, the Knock applicator goes anywhere from 127 to like 164 bucks. Uh, you could probably find it for cheaper if you search around online. That was on eBay and uh, Amazon. I looked. And the there's a commercially available version of the homemade model I have, um, which I made from the fly swatter you get from Harbor Freight. This is the 2D cell version. Um, but Micromark makes a very similar version of this for $39.95. And also there's another version of the knock applicator. Um, I guess we'll call that the knockoff. <laughs> Uh, which is thirty nine ninety nine, which is uh, just a random Google search I did uh, for Satagrass applicator, and the uh, off brand came up as well. So first thing I will say is that the Knock applicator takes a nine volt battery, whereas the uh, Harbor Freight Fly Swatter uh, takes two D cells, which are one and a half volts a piece. So do the math, and that's three volts. So um, being a third of the voltage of the Knock Grassmaster, um, we're going to really see if those extra six volts are really, you know, worth the extra money. So what I'm going to do is I got two foam blocks here. I'm going to paint them with some acrylic paint, and while it's still wet, we're going to do one applicator, and then we'll do the other, and uh, we'll do a side by side comparison of the two pieces afterwards and I'll also try to get the uh, application in process uh, up close. I'll try to get a nice macro shot of that so we can see it in real time. So let me uh, get these blocks painted up and everything set and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay so we got a nice wet layer of paint on our uh, test block here. Just gonna take some uh, regular old mixed up uh, static grass here and just put a little bit in the applicator. Just get a bunch in there. <clears throat> you can always pour it back in. So, okay. Let's see if we can get this to chooch. As you can see, there's not much static action going on here, but it is standing up a little. Let's get over here. Sorry, I know that's off camera. You can see that they are See the little Klingons there? There is static charge. I guess uh, you just got to get a base layer of grass on there. And then it'll kind of start to spread the static around. Kind of see the little Klingons here. Just kind of scratching my finger around in the uh, graded uh, area here. Now this uh, fly swatter I got on sale from Harbor Freight for like three bucks, and the uh, sifter I got at a yard sale for like a nickel or something like that. So this is uh, definitely an economical way to get static grass, you know, on your layout without spending a whole bunch of money. So let's uh, have this just tacked down a little bit to the table. So. 
pretty uh, pretty convincing. It's a nice pile of grass. It's not just all laid over. Um, this is a really short. This is probably half a millimeter uh, grass. It doesn't say on the can here. Thanks, Bachman. Um, but it does look really nice. I mean, there you go. Obviously, this is going to have to dry. You shouldn't really be tipping it. But um, let's move on to the knock applicator and see how that does. Okay, we got our next uh, foam block down here with a nice liberal coating of uh, acrylic paint on it. Uh, one thing I would like to note about the knock uh, grass applicator is that the switch has two positions. And in the middle position, the light doesn't light up, but all the way up it does. Not sure why, so I'm just going to do it with the light on. Uh, one thing I will note about the knock applicator is it definitely has the capacity uh, over over the uh, homemade one, but I mean you really only want to do small amounts at a time because the uh, electric charge through the ground nail that you have to stick in uh, probably uh, only goes so far anyway, so you definitely want to move around in small areas. So let me just screw the cap on the applicator here, turn it to on, and let's see what we get here. Just shaking this back and forth. Now the knock applicator also comes with different size uh, screens and funnels and you know, so if accessories are your thing, then you might want the knock applicator so you can get into tight spots. And not that you couldn't use paper or something else as a funnel for the other homemade one, but this appears to be doing about about the same. Doesn't really seem to have the little oh yeah, little static cling kind of see a couple pieces there just hanging. Just shaking this pretty liberally. You can hear the 9 volt battery clanking around in there. Oh, and that's all the static grass. Let me load it with a little more here. Oof. The whole, you can tell it's staticky because the whole inside of the applicator has got grass stuck to it. So I'm going to put a little more in there. Not too much though. As you can see, it's a pretty uh, pretty easy application. There's no real seriousness about it. Definitely, pretty much anybody could do this. So uh, don't be intimidated by something like this. Let's see if I can get it in there. All right. Turn this off here. So okay. Let's give it the tip test here. It looks, it looks the same. I feel like it looks a little bit better. I'm not sure why. Maybe because it looks like it's more. I don't know. Like I can't explain it. It's it's not. It doesn't look like it's been combed. It looks like it's been walked through a bunch, and there's uh, you know, knots and stuff in the ground. I don't know if that's the right thing I want to say, but. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a zoom out, I'll get the camera repositioned, and then we'll put the two side by side, and we'll, we'll do the comparison that way. So stand by. All right, so on the left here, we got the knock static grass, and on the right here is from the homemade. Um, this was off camera, so I didn't really feel the need to uh, put static grass on it. But also, it shows kind of a, I mean, kind of a transition from a dirt area to grass. Maybe if you have a dirt driveway or path or whatever, it it, it also shows you know how well it does light. I guess we'll just factor that in there. So let's uh, zoom in a bit here. Let's see if you can get the green.
I mean, heck, I, I can't tell the difference. So, if I can't tell the difference, and you can't tell the difference, I don't think there's really a need to spend any extra money than is what's required, because you're probably only going to do so much static grassing on your layout, so... I guess it's really just up to you. Let's see if I can get a... The one on the... This one is the knock, and this one is the handheld, or is the homemade. Just trying to get you different angles here. So you can see, it doesn't really stand up very much because it's a short, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's supposed to be like if the grass was mowed, I suppose. I do have longer static grass, but it's like more of a hay and straw kind of thing, and I don't think that really applies to this because it's probably four times the length of your standard static grass. Here's the hay stuff. You can see it's just a lot bigger compared to the, well, larger, bigger, more bigger compared to this stuff. So I thought it would be more prudent to just use the short stuff. Um, maybe in another video I'll, I'll try the longer grass in there. I have tried it with my homemade stuff on other parts of the layout and um, it, it tends to lay down a little bit. So for, uh, for this video, uh, that's going to be probably about it. You can see uh, the results are basically the same. So, hope this video was helpful because uh, I had fun making it. Uh, one thing I will note is uh, you definitely don't want to record yourself doing uh, static grassing because uh, the lens ended up covered in static grass, and I actually had to vacuum it off before I started this uh, next little segment here. So, I uh, hope this uh, ended up being helpful to you. Uh, definitely uh, worth it to just spend a couple bucks and make your own, but, you know, if it's your model railroad, uh, you can do whatever you want. So, thanks for watching.